Ce mare? Distinguished, we want to we want to tell you you're just joining us. We have a procedure and we are also under law. What we are doing, we are doing as a legislature. You don't come in here when we invite you, despite your colleague. All right? You are on the other side now. Everybody requires a fair hearing. What is going on with you affects us as a body. All right? That is why the Senate president constituted this committee. And you can see the level and integrity of the pe people under here. You don't come in here and dictate to us the procedures we are supposed to to, to, to do, adopt. adopt, and that is you don't dictate to us because you undermine us by even trying to do that. You haven't even listened to us. Even if we are going beyond what you expect, you can stop us, but you don't come to on the other side and start dictating to us. Do you want us to protect you or do you want us to defend you or you want to be on your own? Because do you realize that the Senate, I hope that Mike can let me finish. Do you realize that the Senate, when we constitute this, whatever the law gives, we can also suspend you? Do you realize that? No, no sir. No, sir. I it would does not come here on are camera. Are you threatening me with, with suspension? We are not threatening I you. I said like we are you. not threatening you. I will you. not sit you threatening your suspension. With all due respect, sir. With all due respect to you, I okay. will sit here. You are my colleague. You are a central like me. You cannot threaten me with suspension. Excuse me. Excuse me. I take exception, ma'am. Excuse me, excuse me. Off that man. Please. You are digging a hole for yourself. Excuse me, excuse me. All right, then. Go and bathe your hands. Okay. Please. I'm also another woman. Yes, ma'am. Be careful. Ma'am, please, uh, please, uh, please. 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 Uh, Mr. And even if, if you take uh, offense in what is it, let's say, give way. You have to address the chair, please. Mr. Chairman, is it out of place if I ask that I am not addressing camera, I'm not addressing president? Uh, but, uh, but, uh, after I've been taken to court, am I out of place, sir? Correct me if I'm wrong. Now, if he if says, if he has objection to what you say, is there a difference? To hear our general comment on this, on this. And that's what we take that decision. Wait. You didn't even wait for us to, to even talk before saying this is the method that you want us to, to adopt. Yeah. You didn't even wait. Please, please. Distinguish. Uh, we invited you here. And can you tell us why you come? Thank you. Thank you, my distinguished colleague. So I came Thank you so much, distinguished. I came Thank you, my colleague. I came because I received a test message. Thank you so much, uh, distinguished senator, sir. Um, chairman, with your permission, sir, let me answer my colleague. I came because I received a test message. Uh, that I am invited by this honorable committee made of distinguished men and women to investigate a viral video that is already there in public domain. And um, the protests that have been going out there has been loud, has been local and international. And I felt the, plus the matter that has been going out there is investigate and prosecute him. Just the same way I received a test message from the police 
that I shall come. I had to go there at the exact time that the police gave me because I know how important that is, not just for the Senate as a body, but also for police as an institution that is so uh, bastardized in the, by public opinion. And when I also received the test message, I just got this letter today. But I received a call from the clerk and also received a test message. Being that the police were asked to arrest me, which I was arrested, I was detained, I was investigated by the police, I was referred to competent court. I still feel out of respect for my colleagues. I shall come. But coming in here, I have been receiving thousands of media distance for me to go and address journalists to tell them my side of story. I refused. But coming here to be ambushed with media people covering me, I will not talk to the media. I will now ask, as a privilege of a senator, that I address this committee as a, a, in a closed session. Not, not trying to speak about my own side of story to the media and take it out there. Thank you so much. I, I want to say something. Exactly what you are saying now, that was what we expected you to say on camera. But for you to now begin to talk is not even healthy while camera is on. For you to now tell us the modalities that you want this uh, proceedings to go through, that is wrong. And that is what we are trying to tell you. Thank you so we are much. a very, very respectable institution. And when you look at the caliber of people that are here, look at a former governor of repute, former minister. So the Senate president is just not pick anybody. We are mindful of what you are telling us. But let us be we have a chairman who would decide that. We've already decided, you know, on certain procedures we want to go through, but you don't come and dictate to us. We know what to do. You have to trust us as your colleague. You said, my colleague, my colleague. You have to trust us on that level. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, my very distinguished colleagues. You know, um, first, let me let me say that uh, you know, from our procedures, you know, those of us who have been privileged to be part of you know the Ethics Committee of the Senate. You know, um, when suggestions are made, either by our guests or the person that is standing before the committee makes suggestions. It is for us to, you know, as members hearing, you know, the case, you know, to confer and agree. You know, this particular case, all of this, I mean, our colleagues will take into court. He's already in court. And of course, the very reason why the other person did not come is because they believe too that the case is already subject. That is the reason why she did not come. That is the truth. And as since we have Senator Shaku here, you know, testify before us, I just think I've already mentioned the facts. It is important that we heed, you know, what he has said, really to testify on oath before the press. We mean he too has violated, you know, the, what we're trying to, you know, prevent. That the matter is already subjudiced. So I suggest to that we heed that so that you know we we'll get his testimony in the close session. Thank you.